Okay, we're going to try something a little bit different just for this week. Week 11 quick take for the Yahoo Fantasy Baseball Tucson Toros group. A brief look at all the matchups from Week 11 action uh, with news and notes from each of the battles. Let's get straight to it. Hunt, 1981, took down Tucson's prettiest 901 in Week 11 play. Hunt is bouncing back from a skid down the standings. Now fourth overall, 14 and a half games out of first place with a nice bounce back victory while Tucson's prettiest continues continues one of the slides of all slides. Uh, now 12th in the standings, 14 games out of 6th. Lone split in this battle was a 2-2 tie in saves. Otherwise, every other category, pretty much a no contest in favor of Hunt. Hunt had three players on offense with at least two homers and five players with a stolen base, while Tucson's Prettiest hit a measly 185 at the plate. Six of the nine players used on offense hit under 200. On the pitching side, Hunt picked up six victories from their from his pitchers, eight pitchers with an ERA of three or lower. In other action, twice as nice, took down Woodless to remain undefeated after a 9-1 victory over the lowest team in the league. Twice is now first by 12 and a half games uh, by virtue of having not yet been beaten, while Woodless dead last 11 games out of 12. Twice took all but the average category here. Four battles were close, though. you got to give some credit to Woodall for keeping some things interesting here. Wood hit 345 in the batting average category uh, using just seven players, so that definitely helped. Got six home runs as a team uh, out of those seven players, but lost the category anyway. For twice as nice, Carl Crawford was a beast this week. He had nine runs, three stolen bases, and hit 429 from the plate. Uh, twice also, though, had five players hit under 200, so not the best offensive week for Twice as Nice, but still got the job done nonetheless against a team that really hasn't been all that good this season. Uh, on the pitching side, Woodla had five players, had an ERA of five or higher. Uh, Kevin Slowey was the worst of those. He had an ERA of 37.8 this week. While twice as nice, six pitchers with an ERA of three or lower. Uh, complete opposite of Woodall's performance. Clay Buckholtz for twice as nice, two wins and 12 Ks. In other action, Waveland and Sheffield took down Jimmy Dugan in a battle of top teams. Uh, Waveland wins this one 6-3-1. and one. Waveland's now sixth in the standings, 15 games out of first, and Dugan's now fifth in the standings, just a half game ahead of Waveland. Waveland took three of five on offense and in pitching. Dugan hit a terrible 219 from the plate. Five players hit under 200 this week. Uh, for Waveland Sheffield, Manny Ramirez exploded on offense this week. He had three homers, six RBIs, and hit 429 from the plate uh, in his well documented return to. Fenway Park. Uh, on the pitching side, it was a spirited battle with Jimmy Dugan taking win, taking wins and strikeouts, but Waveland took the other categories. Uh, Waveland dominated the saves category 10 to nothing on the back of three closers that each picked up three saves apiece. Uh, further down, it looks like Grassy Knoll defeated AZ Padres 7 to 3. In other action, Noel now third in the standings, 13 games out of first place, while AZ Padres is eighth, six and a half games out of sixth place. Noel took four or five on offense and three of five on, in the pitching uh, categories. Eight categories were pretty close, though, so AZ Padres definitely a respectable loss nonetheless. For Grassy Noel, Matt Holiday hit four homers, had eight RBIs, and hit 435 from the plate this week to lead the way on the offensive side. Unfortunately, though, as a team, Grassy Knoll managed just one stolen base. AZ Padres had three pitchers with double-digit Ks this week. Adam Wainwright was the star of that. Uh, he had two wins, 10 Ks, and a 1.8 ERA. That's fantastic. Uh, Grassy Knoll was just that much better, though. Five pitchers with a zero ERA, six pitchers with a whip under one. On uh, one of the other close battles this week, Greek Thunder took down Koufax's Revenge 6-3-1. and one. Greek is still second in the standings, 12 and a half games out of first place, while Koufax falls to 11th overall, 13 and a half games out of sixth. Greek took three of five on pitch uh, in pitching and on offense uh, and split the wins category. Many of the battles were really tight, though, so Greek squeaked this one out for sure. Koufax had five players hit under 200 on offense, 
but had Derek Lee hit three homers and seven RBIs. Uh, Greek had Chase Utley return to form. He had seven RBIs, five runs, two stolen bases, and a 360 average. On the pitching side, Koufax had Roy Halladay, no wins, but 13 Ks, and Hiroki Kuroda had a win and 17 Ks this week. Uh, Greek, though, he was able to top that with Neftali Feliz out of the bullpen. Four saves from Feliz alone with a zero ERA. That's fantastic out of the bullpen. And four pitchers returned an ERA of zero. In other action, Otis and the Drunks took down Bronx Bombers 7-3. Otis, 7th in the standings now. The best team not quite in the top 6. Just two games out of 6. So a very tight battle for the 5th, uh, 6th, and 7th place spots in the standings. Bronx Bombers is now 15th. 7.5 games out of 12th. Otis swept offense by a mile. Not even close in any of those categories. While Bombers managed to take 3-5 of five in pitching. Dustin Pedroia for Otis. Had nine runs, five RBIs, four stolen bases, and hit 522 this week. An absolute beast for Otis. While Bombers used just seven players on offense, one of those being Derek Jeter, who was banged up this week, had just one run and hit 150 from the plate. On the pitching side, Bronx Bombers took the saves category using Kevin Gregg and Kevin Gregg alone. His three saves was enough to get the job done. While Otis continued to struggle in the ERA category with some wild pitching, had just two pitchers or had two pitchers with double-digit ERAs by week's end. In other action, the Metropolitans defeated Derek Lowe equals Cheater 6-4 to four in a close one. Uh, Metropolitans is now ninth in the standings, seven and a half games out of first, while Derek Lowe equals Cheater is 13th, three games out of 12th. Mets took 4-5 of five at pitching, while Cheater took 3-5 of five on offense. All battles were close, though. This really was a close battle that went in favor of the Mets. Cheater had Hanley Ramirez this week for two homers and seven RBIs. Also got 11 RBIs out of Corey Hart this week. He's been uh, much better at the plate as of late. While Metropolitans countered with Andrew McCutcheon. Eight runs, four stolen bases, and a 421 average from the plate this week. Uh, on the pitching side, Cheater didn't manage a win or a save from any pitchers. While Metropolitans had five pitchers with an ERA under three. And Steven Strasburg didn't pick up a win this week, but did add 10 Ks and a 1.29. ERA. Uh, and in the final battle of the week, the Androids took down Lucky 6-4. to four. Androids now 10th in the standings, 12 and a half games out of 6th, while Lucky is now 14th, 7 games out of 12th. Androids took 3 of 5 in pitching and on offense. All battles were close. Each team used just 8 players on offense, though, so both offenses looking pretty shabby. While Lucky on the mound had CC Sabathia, 2 wins, 13 Ks. Uh, three pitchers, though, had an ERA in the double digits, and Androids countered with a solid performance this week out of David Price. He provided 16 strikeouts for Androids. Looking forward to Week 12 action. You're going to see the biggest matchup of the week is going to be Grassy No. Excuse me, Grassy Knoll taking on Greek Thunder. That's the two versus the three in the overall standing. So that should be a huge matchup. In other action, you're going to see Jimmy Dugan trying to stick in the top six, taking on. Uh, Knocking on the door, AZ Padres, currently 8th in the standings. Uh, Hunt, 1981, looking to continue the newfound momentum against Koufax's revenge. Bronx Bombers, looking to continue Tucson's prettiest slide uh, as we head to Week 12. Uh, Woodalas, trying to get out of the cellar, taking on the best team not in the top six, Otis and the Drunks. Uh, Derek Lowe equals Cheater, has the unfortunate task of taking on the unbeaten team twice as nice and metropolitans is going to be taking on lucky in a battle of mid uh mid pack talent there and the final matchup you're going to look at is wayland and sheffield looking to stay in that top six by taking on the androids who's been looking a lot better as of late so we'll hope to see you back next week uh possibly for a more expanded version of the show uh but we'll see you back for a week 12 action uh next week